Good morning, pleased to meet you. I'm Felicity Formal. I'm quite complex and I take on more serious topics in a direct way. Hey, how's it going? I'm India Informal and I'm friendly and relaxed. I use more emotions and show more personality. Today, we are going to talk about formal and informal. When you start to write something, you should always ask yourself, who is my audience? What's the best way to communicate my message? And what style of language should I use? Answering these questions will help you to write, but how do you know what style to use? And what's the difference between formal and informal writing style? Would you normally wear shorts and a t-shirt to a job interview? If you use language which is too informal, you can give a bad impression. Formal language sounds serious. It usually has an impersonal tone. It is used for academic writing, such as reports, articles, and letters such as job applications, because it sounds more professional. Informal language sounds chatty and usually has a personal tone. It is used for things like emails to friends, letters to your family, or text messages, because it's friendlier. Now let's look at some differences between formal and informal English. Look at the following letter and decide if it's formal or informal and why. I need a job. Right now I study biology at uni. I'm just finding out if you need anyone. I've been working part-time in a nursing home and recently they promoted me to care assistant. I'm patient, work hard and I'm friendly. Get in touch. India Informal. So this email uses informal language and it's too informal for this style of letter, which is a letter of application. We're going to look at the four features that make this email look informal, and we're going to change it to make it look more formal. In informal English, we use more casual words like finding out, job, right now, and get in touch. It'd be better to use more formal words. I'm writing to apply for the position of nurse. Currently, I look forward to hearing from you. It's more common in formal English to use more shortened forms of words and verbs. Here we have uni, which is okay if you're speaking, but not when you're writing. We should use the full word university instead. And I've been, we could use I have been. Normally in formal language we use passive structures. They promoted me to care assistant should be I was promoted to the position of care assistant. We use shorter sentences in informal language such as I work hard and I'm friendly. It's better to use longer complex sentences. I'm hardworking and I work well in a team. So remember, only write informally to friends or members of your family and be very formal when you write to people that you do not know at all.